Okay, I felt led to share these first two words. Well, uh, yeah, the first two words and these other two words um, were published yesterday, so I'm going to share all four. Um, the last two uh, help remind us to be ready for what's coming and for all of the tactics of the enemy. In the second word that I'm going to read, it's going to have to have a lot of code to avoid censors. <laughs> um, so you might need to look at the screen to see exactly the words that I'm talking about. This one is from Lynn Johnson, Wake Up My Children, August 3rd. So this was from, yes, I think they're all from yesterday. She received it July 7th, 2021. I want my, I am wants my people to know that the time of sorrows is upon you. You need to be ready for this time, for it will be very difficult for some of you. This time of sorrows will be a time of struggle along with great pain and anguish. Understand that there is no going back, only forward. You must push forward to me. Stay focused on me by praying to me daily and talking to me. My children, so much will happen in quick succession. It will be bewilder bewildering. You need a strong foundation built on my word, on me, in order to stay strong, to stay the course. Once the first judgment happens, you will truly understand what I am has been saying to you through my prophet. She has put out many messages apprising you of what is to come from me. Some were will to listen. Others shrug of prophecies of what is to come because someone on YouTube says a negative word. Those people have little faith and will take you down. Is this what you want? Try, me, try reading my word rather than accepting false thoughts, wrong thinking. If you truly read my word with the, with the intent to learn, you will find the truth. Ask me for help to understand, and I am will help those who come to me with a humble attitude who truly want to learn. I am as tired of those who complain but never really take any time to actually look up ideas, scriptures, and learn from them. Far too many of you want only to hear the pretty words of placating of all is well. It is not well with the world. You have only to look around you. My warnings will come forth soon as realities. My prophecies about judgment are not years in the future. Can you not see what that you are in the end times? How much longer do you think that this world will last as it is? Wake up, my children, stop looking for those with the all is well words and look for truth and wisdom. I am is telling you that you will regret listening to those voices instead of my true prophets who are speaking my words to you. My truths to you are for your benefit in the time to come. Read my word, then come to me to ask questions. Stop wasting your time on those who have no idea of what is tru truly coming and focus on those who speak truth, even if you are made to feel uncomfortable. Is it not better to know the truth so that you can better prepare for what comes, so that you are not deceived? For the deception will be great. I am loves you, my children, but many of you still need to wake up and stop believing that you are not here for the judgment. You will be here for them in order to help your fellow believers and those who have been called, but don't realize this yet. They will need your help, so get ready for this, for very soon, very soon, it is here. Your King Yeshua, your Redeemer Messiah, and your Bridegroom. And I just shared a video yesterday about being the Word and ready for the days ahead, and how we need to be studying and knowing His Word, especially before we're not able to use it anymore. And the Word that she I just shared um, applies to that. the word that I just shared from Lynn Johnson, August 3rd, wake up my children. It applies to the video I just made yesterday about being in the word. And also it confirms this word that the Lord gave me 
um, about the days that we are looking ahead to. Right here, let me move this over a little bit. I shared this last, actually, a, exactly a year ago today, August 4th, 2020. Dark days are upon you. A storm is coming that will envelop the world. Look to me, Jesus. Pray, draw near to me, and I will be with you. Be in my word. Your heart needs to be close to me, and I will protect you. Do not look at the circumstances around you or be swayed by the enemy. Trust in me. It will be difficult, but not impossible. Nothing is impossible with me. I will protect and care for my own. Learn to listen and hear my voice. My sheep hear my voice and follow me. Thus are kept safe. In the darkness, keep your eyes set on me, the light, and I will guide you through it. I love you and will never leave nor forsake you. So totally confirms this word that she shared about um, you need to be ready for this time for it will be very difficult for some of you. This time of sorrows will be a time of struggle along with great pain and anguish. Understand that there is no going back, only forward, and you must push forward to me, just like he told me in his word, in the word he gave me. Stay focused on Jesus, praying to him daily, and talking to him, okay? And you need to have a strong foundation built on my word and on him in order to stay strong, to stay the course. So it is so important. And then he also gave me... Um, if you look up, if you if you go to my page and you type in um, wake up, he gave me the word five years ago, wake up, destruction is coming, it is near. And I shared words given, wake up, listen, and prepare 11 months ago. He gave me the word rise up warriors, put on the whole armor of God 10 months ago. So it's so vital that we're prepared for the days that are coming because instead of being afraid of what's happening or confused or lied to and believing the lies, we need to realize that it's all happening so that the return of Jesus can com commence. Amen. And we're going to see these things knowing that there's a light at the end of the tunnel, amen, and Jesus is there, and we're going to see him, so we have to keep the faith and remain strong and not let the lies of the world, the enemy, or others um, get to us that God is not real or doesn't love us because we're still here during the hard times. That's not true. We were warned of these days. And we can see that at the end, there's a blessing. All right. So this one <clears throat> is the one I have to use code for. Deadlier than ever, the SP part of the CV. Okay. You can see it on the screen. August 3rd, cryptic one. The Holy Spirit always warns. This post ref references two articles which point to the um, D-E-A-D-L-Y effects from taking the poke created by the seemingly um, SP, what it causes your body to produce. On 5-10-21, I had posted an article on this site, 444 Prophecy News, and you can see the title here, talking about the two popes. In this article, I share how the Holy Spirit had given the names of them to me last year. I also pointed out how I believe this was a warning from the Holy Spirit regarding not taking it. I then went on to share an excerpt from Skywatch TV video. And there's another um, title here, 5 and 10 new discovery about it, about the SP. In this video, Derek Gilbert explained how um, it was able to stimulate the body into producing SPs that enabled the body to fight off the actual V. 
Mr. Gilbert also raised questions about the unknown long-term effects of the actual SPs themselves. Okay. Researchers at the medical establishment on Friday published new uh, information in a peer-reviewed journal showing that the SP on the surface of the actual V um, actually damages CELLS. The SP itself um, attacks your cardiovascular system at a S U L L U L A R uh, level and causes damage. Okay, which confirms that this whole thing is not mainly uh, a lung issue, as we've been told. It is primarily a um, blood vessel issue, okay? So it attacks the system that we've seen. People have had negative um, outcomes, I'm trying to use code here. They've had negative outcomes from the actual pope which uh, contributed to CLOTSs and um, also uh, INFLAMMATION around the vital organ. All right, so they're talking about the three main ones that they've been using. It says, we already know that they cause our, they cause the CELLSs to produce the SPs, okay, that then go into part of our system and will cause one of our systems to generate the ANTI BODIESs, okay, to um, come against the SPs. It's hard to say this. And then, and then our system um, then knows how to ambush it or supposedly take it over before there's any further complications. The problem is the SP itself is actually causing um, problems. And now we have millions that have accepted the poke and this is going on in their um in their persons what's the long-term outcome okay well and what about how much damage will the sps create okay even without any further um even if they don't contract the V. We don't know, so we just pray that down the road, they don't have any long-term issues. So today she said she came across a sobering article and it was titled here. I can't read it because it's too many, but basically an autopsy of one of the first ones, okay? that actually had both. All right, sorry. So you can click on this link to this uh, natural news article. And here's an excerpt about it, proving the harmful uh, attributes of the SP. So researchers from Germany have conducted the first world, world's first ever post-mortem study on a body um that prior to their decease had been um, poked and they found every single organ of the person had become infested with the sp because of that uh, it was about one month prior to his death the 86 year old had um received it and then he still became 
um, infected with the bee, even though a month later he had been poked. And so they, you know, they rushed him for treatment and it was too late. Um, it, every, like it said, every aspect of his body was overtaken by the SPs um, that, you know, just basically ravaged his organs and he had received the, the, um, this one down here. I think that one is the um, the AZ one. While it was discovered that the uh, that the poke did trigger um, what it was supposed to do inside the man's body, it didn't do anything to stop the uh, V or the SPs from flourishing and causing failure of the organs. So this all shows, of course, that the, um, what they're trying to push doesn't do any good. It does more harm than good. And it also seems to be accelerating um, the S-P-R-E-A-D of it, of the actual V. So the Holy Spirit's warned us, let the buyer beware. May all those who took it now turn and seriously repent, like I said in my video yesterday. If you seriously realize that it was the wrong thing to do, and you ask Jesus to forgive you for, for trusting in man over him and putting that into your body, he will, he will forgive you and he can heal you. But you need to be sincere for taking, um, yeah, for taking your, uh, your lives into your own hands and not relying on the Lord. May God have mercy on all these souls. Then this one is from Terry Hen Hennesley. No more time for games. So these are the last two words that sort of sum up how, how our heart should be before him. My daughter write these write my words. I always have something to say, child, for I'm always speaking. My heart is that all my children would be in a continuous posture of prayer. Between all, all 24 hours of the day should be covered by your prayers. If there is anyone, if there is anyone belong to me who is not praying on a regular basis, it is time to get into this posture. Your free time should be in prayer. Witchcraft is ramping up against my church and, the, and my body, and I need my warriors to be repelling and countering all they are firing at all times throughout the day and night. They no longer, they no longer only work at 3 a.m., but at all times, and made themselves organized to be performing their evil deeds at all times throughout the 24-hour period. Please rise up now, warriors. Man your stations. Come against and bind up all they are practicing against my children. Be in a continual posture of prayer, warfare, praising and thanksgiving and reading my word. At this point, you should be focused on only these things in your spare time and doing, um, and should be doing these at all times you have available. There's no more time for games, surfing, surfing the internet, etc. Imagine what it would be like on the front lines of a civil war. If the soldier who was on watch was busy playing on his phone and the people who he was supposed to be protecting were invaded because he was not in position, but instead busy with his own carnal desires. He has put all those he was protecting in danger or worse. P please share this message with my sh church. Abba, Yeshua, Holy Spirit. Did you feel it? August 3rd, Cherry Archer. I woke to a song, Jesus, you are everything. I give my life to you. I give my life to you, Jesus. These are the words that he gave me. Prepare, be ready. Do you feel it? Do you understand what it is you feel? The upset in the air, the turmoil, always something to throw you off track, to keep you from prayer, from seeking me for the lost. Angry words, thoughts, behaviors, unexpectedly throws you for a loop, causing tears and the immediate thought to hate comes rather than prayer for those who have done you wrong. Do you feel it? Do you see it? Do you understand it? Something big is coming and the enemy's tactics have not changed. 
You see it daily on the news of the day. Create an issue over here as to keep eyes off the real issue that need prayer before you. That is what is happening to my intercessors now. Keep them stirred up with other issues so they cannot feel the call to pray to prayer against the enemy. Understand and know that the tactics of the enemy rise above. Oh, the tactics of the enemy rise above. Lift your voice in praise and worship, and your enemy, the devil, will flee. In a war, the combatants do not leave their artillery behind to pursue other thoughts or ideas. It is time to stand. The enemy is at the door. Do not let him in to play with your mind. The harvest is ripe. Do not be distracted. Use discernment. Do not allow what is not of me in the door. Pray, prayer, praise, worship. Read my word. Know my word. The truth will set you free. Are you ready for battle? Are you battle hardened? A good soldier never goes into battle unharmed. It is time.